to keep all the elements of the butchery. Then it was a beautiful project, a really mm -hmm. romantic project. I think we two Italian guys, really, really guys. And now it's a restaurant. But they don't open now, during lunchtime then. Before the COVID, they proposed that, this new project. And I'm really happy because I returned a little to my house because I, I did it. With again a project that I love, like sell books, is show you how to make really good paellas. Mm -hmm. Please, yes. welcome to the slaughter town. I was like, wait, I was, we're short over there. Yeah. <laughs> Who's not going? I know. Like, what are you like, guys doing? Like, okay, go. Yeah. All of our projects are going to be Very nice. You can leave your bags if you want at the end of the Estofrani. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. If you want to leave your bags, you could give them at the end. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. So cool. Thank you. 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 Have it this afternoon. This one, no. Pay attention. Okay. Hacemos solo una y luego ellos que sacan. Okay. We start with fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. We can use whatever we want. Peach, pineapple, watermelon. But we are in Valencia. What we have in Valencia? Well, a lot, a lot of fruit. Today, ¿es todo de ti? Okay. We are going to start with a fresh fruit, but as I said, you can put whatever you want. Lemon, peach, butter. That's for me. Hey, hey, hey. That's for me. Okay, this is your sangria, this is my sangria, but it's not a competition, don't worry. We are not going to be... Okay, thank you. Muchas gracias. Now, uh, optional, we can put sugar, if you want. Uh, the rest of the ingredients are going to be a little sweet, but not too much. This is for a, more or less for a cup of coffee. For a sangria, but it's enough. Then, one of these. Okay. In the jar. Yeah. Now, we, we put a strong alcohol. Which one? I like a, a little sweet. Yeah. Uh, brandy, yeah, this one, yeah. uh, room. Gin, if you want, but I prefer for some of the 
Uh, I prefer room because it's a little sweet. Uh -huh. Rum? Rum. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, sorry, room. Like, room. Yeah. Okay, how much? Uh, we are going to put five, five and ten seconds. Yeah. There's, only, there's only one difference between the, the regular seconds and the Valencian seconds. In the Valencian seconds, we must start to count now. One, two, three, four, and five Valencian seconds. Let's see. There's one difference, no? Don't count yet. One. No. No. Okay, now uh, we're gonna use wine. Usually in the sangria I prefer red wine. You can use white if you want. For me, there's only one thing that is important for me is the, the, the wine must be cheap. Ah, okay. <laughs> Why? Because it's a shame to spend 20 euros in a bottle of Rioja, Ribera del Duero, if we are gonna mix with all these things. <laughs> Then a cheap wine, a good wine. This is, I think, with 4 euros in a supermarket. Perfect for the sangria. For the paella later we are going to have a, a, a lot better, of course. Mm -hmm. eh, vamos a poner hasta la mitad okay. de la garra. Uh, sí, más o menos. Perfecto. Ya acabalo aquí, por favor. Exacto. Al, fi al final, at the end, we, we are able to understand well, that. And like that. And now uh, we finish with a soft drink. Which one? Soda. Sprite, soda, Fanta, Coca-Cola. Which one? Uh, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Okay. Uh, Coca-Cola. 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 Coca
we are not going to put the rice we don't stir all the time no 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 we're gonna put the rice we're gonna put the rice everywhere we are not going to touch it okay then um, to cook the rice we are gonna need later when we talk about which kind of rice you must use okay, and why the other thing that for me now is important is that we are gonna need 16 minutes to cook it okay then 16 during these 16 minutes the first 12 13 minutes we're gonna boil the rice but the last two three minutes we need to fry the rice. The boil, the, the stock is gonna disappear and we're gonna fry all the rice. Why? Because like that, we're gonna have a lot of flavor and like that, we're gonna close the rice. The starch of the rice is gonna be inside and at the end, the rice is gonna be, like you say, al dente. If it's too soft, we don't like it. If it's too hard, we don't like it. Al dente, no rompi dente, okay? <laughs> then, it must be like that. To make, to make it like that, it's important. Please, first, boil the rice. Second, fry the rice. Then, why is so important as well? The, why we use big, big in large pans? Because like that, for example, we're gonna put a kilo of rice and we're gonna have a thin cake of rice, like that. During this part that we are frying the rice, all the rice is gonna be in touch with the oil. We're gonna fry all the rice. Here in this paella, we can make a paella for 20 people, if you want, put a lot of rice. But during this part, we're gonna have a cake like that of rice. Only this part of the rice is going to be touched with the oil. We are going to fry only this. This rice is not going to be cooked as the same way as this one or this one because we don't stir. Then, always, as big as possible, because like that, the rice is going to be really thin. It's going to be delicious. Okay? Okay, this, uh, we are going to fry it 15 minutes more or less. Be careful because the oil can uh, splash. Spritz. And if, are, if it arrives here in the floor, it can be a little dangerous because you can flip. That's the reason as well that you use last spoons. It's not necessary to move all the time. We're going to put the, the meat, be careful, yeah, like that. And every two minutes, you turn. Yes? And one thing, that is really, one thing that is really important, this paella is our responsibility. Then together we must decide if we continue with the paella or not. Then I'm going to ask you, what do you think? Is that? Is not that? You think you can eat it? Okay? And in the moment that all of us, we decide, yes, is that? We continue. Okay? Then the most boring part, but don't worry because the rest of the paella is more fluid and more, more fun. Now the most important is put in the middle of the, of the paella and all the meat in touch with the oil. Okay? Valencian guy and old guy like my father, no? Which one is better? He's gonna tell you the classic one. Uh, if you say, okay, Papa, but why? He's gonna answer you because it's the classic. Ah. Yes, Papa, but, but why is better? Because it's the classic. No, no. Why, why, why do you say that? The classic man, the classic man, Valencian man. They say that because I remember when I was a child, usually it was my father who cooked the paella, but it was my mother who cooked the paella. <laughs> <laughs> One day my mother told to my father, Ramon, today I'm going to cook the paella, you're going to clean the paella. <laughs> After that day, my father said that the black one is much, much better. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the other one, the plastic, is not only really hard to clean. After that, you must put oil. Mm. Because it can get oxidated. Yeah, oxidated yes. After that, if you want to use it again, you can wash it. Because that's all you need. For this one. You make the paella, you clean it, you keep it, and you forget. Then if you're yeah. going to buy a paella, you use the black one. <laughs> it's true that in the, in the plastic one, in the thin one, uh, it's easy to have the socarrat. The socarrat is the pegaito. It's the crunchy part that you caramelize mm. the rice. Here it's really easy to clean, but it's difficult to have that. But don't worry because. We are going to fry the rice at the end. Then, the borders of the paella is going to be like that, crunchy. We are going to have part of the rice al dente, part a little crunchy, that is like that. Two That's minutes, it. two minutes. And, and, okay, now it's two minutes. Okay, but it's Russian, it's Smile. Okay. Okay. Eat the best paella you can eat in Valencia, not because I am here. It's because we have time to yeah. cook it. If you go to a restaurant and you order a Valencian paella, you don't wait one hour and a half. You find it. And we put here.
we move just one, two minutes, and it, it will be enough. Now is the moment that there are more changes, depending on who uh, are you are, uh, are going to ask. Now there are people who like to put garlic. If you want to put garlic, now is the moment with the tomato. You put a garlic, it's, it's okay. There are people who, uh, the big peppers that we throw in the market, that people like to use it to fried. Like bell peppers? This big, big one. But I, I don't like. I prefer to use this. Paprika. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This paprika is, is not hot, obviously, but it's, it's, it's small, not, so, not at all. So that it has little and yes. sweet yes. 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 Okay, sweet yeah. Then with, with the paprika we must be careful, yeah. because it's powder, it can get burned. Then for that, for that. Okay, now, we must be careful because this is in powder, it can get burned. I'm gonna put it, the, the paprika. You move 10 seconds, but no paddle, 10 seconds this time, okay? <laughs> Quickly. 10 seconds, and after that, for example, one of you, you can put the tomato. Okay? Yeah. 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 We can go with the water. Yeah. Then first, the paprika. Yes, one tomato. Yes, yes. Well, paprika. Ten, 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 first 10 seconds. And after she is going to put the tomato, okay? Okay. Ahora, uno, dos, dos tres, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, seis siete, ocho, nueve, ocho, diez, once, uh, catorce, tomate, tomate. Uh, uh. And as you can see, it's really simple. Look, only with this and the paprika, of course, we are going to have the flavor. Let's make the We can't, we can open our oh, restaurant. No. Yeah, I can hire me, please. I don't want to go back home. Then, oh, obviously, the beach, the beach. obviously, the paella we cook in summer, we have another flavor than the paella we cook in winter. We use another vegetable. Now I'm going to show you the most difficult part of the paella. It's not difficult, and don't worry because later I'm going to take you again. I'm going to write you the steps. Then, uh, it's not difficult at all, but you must use it a little bit. First of all, which kind of rice we are going to use? Okay. The rice. This rice is from here, from Valencia. It is from Valencia. Of course, right? Arroz de Valencia, but you can use that, the, ris the risotto rice, the arborio. Oh, risotto. Look, and the risotto rice, you can find it everywhere. Okay? Why? Why is that? We're gonna boil the rice. 12 minutes, we're gonna fry it with four. We need to know how much water we need for that. Mm -hmm. Then, the most important for this kind of rice is that we're gonna need 16 okay. minutes. This quantity of water is thinking in these 16 minutes. Uh, if we do, for example, a basmati, uh, basmati is thinner. Uh, we need less time uh, to cook it. 12 minutes is done, we need less water. Okay. If we use a wild rice, the wild rice is stronger. Okay. We need more time. We need 20 minutes to cook it. We need more water. Then, for the paella, really important, if you find Valentine rice, perfect, of course. Uh, okay. But it's not necessary to cook with Valentine rice. This kind of rice. Risotto, arborio, doesn't matter. The most important is 60 minutes. Okay. 16 minutes. 16. Yeah, okay. Then, uh, how much rice we're going to use? Today is really easy because you are there. Then, uh, we're going to put 100 grams per person. Mm -hmm. We are 10, 100, 100, 100, 100. One kilo. Yeah. One kilo. One kilo, okay. <laughs> Today, 10 people, one kilo. <laughs> to cook, to cook that kilo in 16 minutes, we need three times in water. One kilo, three liters. Three liters. Okay. One kilo, three liters of water. Yes. <laughs> Imagine that we are going to cook a paella for five. Or fondo, or fondo. 1.5 liters of water. The other day in Fallas I make a paella for 50 people. Wow! 50 people, it's a paella like that, and I need 5 kilos. 1.5 liters. People for 20, 2, two kilos, 6 liters. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay? So the one in Fallas, yeah. Exactly. Then today you are, you are 10. You are 10, we are going to put 1 kilo. Mm. We need 3 liters to cook that kilo. Then here I have 3 liters. We put them. This is tap water. Mm. But now we have a problem because, as I said in the market, in the other two paellas, the stock is done, the caldo is done. Mm. Here we need to cook the stock. Yeah. To cook the stock, we need to boil 
this water with the ingredients, with the vegetables, the meat, etc. But if we start to boil the water, when we have the stock done, we are not going to have three liters. We are going to have less yeah. because it's going to get evaporated. Yes. What can we do at there? Okay, we can do that. We are going to take a reference. How? For example, with this spoon. This spoon has holes. You can use this. You can use a knife. You can use a stick. That's the matter. This, this uh, spoon, I'm going to put it in the middle of the paella. And we are, we are going to see where we are. And we see that we are just, just, just up the first hole. Mm -hmm. Okay? Up the first hole. Now we know we have three liters. Now, here. Now, I have this. I put more water. How much? One liter, one liter and a half. It depends if you are in a hurry. And we are going to start to cook the stock. We are going to boil this water with the ingredients until when? We are going to boil it until we arrive again up the first hole. At that point, we are going to have three liters, but not of water. We are going to have three liters of stock. At that point, we put the rice. Okay? If the budget for five, one kilo, one point five liters, we put the one point five liters. We see where we are. We add water. We boil, and when we arrive, when we know that we have one point five, we put the half kilo of rice. Okay? Then this is not perfect. But helps a lot. <laughs> to make it perfect, we are going to make two checkpoints later for the win, and like that, we do. Mm. But uh, the people think that the saffron is just for the color. That's not true. The saffron is for the flavor. And it's going to give us a, a, little, a little of color, but not too much. Then, uh, we are going to put, look, for a paella for 10, with this quantity, it's going to be enough. Only with that. It's gonna, it's, okay. it's gonna be enough for the flavor, okay? But but we have a problem because if you go to Google Images, you put paella valenciana, the paella is always yellow, really, uh -huh. really yellow, no? And the people think that we use the saffron just for that. That's not true because if we use just saffron for the color, we have two problems. First one, really expensive. <laughs> Second one is really, really strong. Chorizo effect. If we put out of saffron, at the end the paella is going to have the flavor of just the saffron. It's like medicine. Is it really? A lot. Like, you have it tastes like iodine or medicine? Yes, exactly. Exactly. That, that's, not, that's not good. Then, we need... Not to, curcuma. We, it's, a, it's a possibility. possibility. Okay. We talk about that now. All that. We have still the problem. Now we have the flavor, we have everything, but we need to make the paella yellow. Because at the end of the paella, completely soon, you're going to make pictures. Yeah. You're going to show your friends. Probably you're going to put it in Instagram. No. And the paella must be yellow. Ah, if it's not yellow, your friends are going to say, what, what, what is that? No? <laughs> then you have two possibilities. You can use a filter, okay? <laughs> it's okay. I don't like too much this possibility. Or you can use curcuma. It's a good idea. Curcuma is the, the next, it's also turmeric, no? Turmeric, yes. You can use it. It's going to make it really yellow. For the picture, perfect. But it has a lot of flavor. I don't like too much. What we use here in Valencia? Which is that? What is that? This is color. No flavor at all. No. This is just, just, just for Instagram, okay? <laughs> I love to say that. Just for the picture. Colorante para paella. Mm -hmm. It's all natural, it's made of corn, but not flavor at all. Just for the picture. <laughs> then the question is, is necessary to use that? <laughs> If I cook a paella for my family, for my son, for me, I don't use that, of course. This is, for example, if someone says, Ramon, uh, make, make me a paella for a wedding. Mm -hmm. The people are going to make pictures. The paella must be yellow. I use that. <laughs> in Valencia, we have a mix, paella mix. In the supermarkets, that is the, it's a mix with, with the paprika, saffron, and this. I prefer to show, to show you the three things, and then I can, I can tell you, if you want to use this, use it. If you don't want, don't use it. In winter, for example, that we use the artichokes, the paella becomes green, dark, really beautiful. I never use that because I like this color. In summer, it's true that only with that is going to be really pale. Then, for the picture, we are obliged, obliged to use that, if you want, of course. The flavor is going to be the same. It's going to be great as well, but it's more beautiful. That's true. We can put whatever we want because there's no flavor at all. Then, like that. And which, which is the origin of that? I have, I have a theory, I don't know if it's true. 
But uh, here, here in Valencia, uh, we, we, we love to, to try to show the rest of the people things that we are not. No? No. Then, uh, I imagine, the 50s, two families making the paella no, in a camping. You are making wow. my paella and you are seeing the paella of the others. No? <laughs> you see, what is paella? Wow, look, it's really yellow. They have a lot of money. They use a lot of saffron. No. It was not saffron, it was that. No. Uh, <laughs> yes. Maybe it's the origin of the saffron, I don't know, of the colorant, I don't know. But, well. <laughs> Then, as I said, if you want to use it, use it because you don't want it. Now we are in the second most boring part of the paella. We are. <laughs> but now you know what we do during the boring parts. We drink. We drink. Yes. Ah, you want to, to you of, of course, and you want to taste the, the Valencian the Valencian shot? The, yes. Yes. Oh wow. Sambuca. More or less sambuca. It's more or less like ah, okay. that. The pastis in France. You want to, to taste it? Why not? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ¿Cómo se llama eso? Cazalla. Ahora soy yo. Es un licorcito de. Sí, de, 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 de anís. Casalla. Mm. Yes, more or less the anise, Casalla, from here, from Valencia, but in, in the, all the Mediterranean, you have the same. In Greece, in Italy, in France, they have the same. Yeah, exactly. But in, in, in each country, they have another name, a, a different name. Okay. So the moment is where we're in the sun, yeah? It's a boring part. It's a boring part. This is to decide of the salt is okay. It must be a little bit more. But just a little bit more. It must be a little salty because the rice doesn't salt at all, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, now it's we taste again. It's more delicious color. Again, please. Do we need to keep the spoon for later? If you want, yes. If you prefer to eat with the spoon, you, you can keep it. If you want to taste again? Ahora el arroz. The three to one. Not perfect. El chalo. To make it perfect, now we are gonna be the rhythm of the fire because here in the gas is really easy. We need more fire, we put more. We need less, we put less. How we can know if the rhythm is good? Now I change time and we are gonna see the we are gonna look the paella at seven minutes. At seven minutes we are gonna see and we must start to see the rice everywhere. We must start to see the rice everywhere at seven minutes. If we don't see the rice at seven minutes, we have too much stock. We put more fire. If we start to see the rice before at three four minutes, I see the rice here, but I don't see it there. I, I lose. There are parts that I don't see the rice. What can I do? Mask the door. Exactly. Mask. More fire. Let's go. Why go? And now the second checkpoint it will be at 12:13 because we're yeah. gonna fry. We don't. We are not going to have stock at all. Okay. With that, we we, we play. And so only with the three to one. And this week, you're gonna be by yourself. Like that. Just kiss for me. So you guys wash your... Um, I don't see the rice, we have stock, but we 16, have time. 16 minutes. Yes. Okay. The, first, the first 12 minutes we are going to boil the rice. In 12, 13 minutes you are going to see we are not going to have stock. The people that they don't know how to cook paellas, they made a big mistake. In 12, 13 minutes, because they say, I don't have stock. They add water. Okay, so... Two problems. 
the rice is too soft, too soft again, and, and the flavor, ah, okay. the flavor disappears. Ah, okay. So at seven minutes, we're just choosing a flavor well, that increases exactly. the heat. We're gonna see at seven minutes, and we start to see the rice everywhere. Ah, okay. We are now in six. Is this weird to say? Is this at like a medium heat? Yes, a medium a little less. Medium low. Because it's always easy to put more fire than less. Yeah. How many we are boiling? In two minutes? We're going to try it. Yes, 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 yes. People think that the Valentine guys were crazy because we start to make that. So 60 wow. <laughs> This is what we're going to do. Yes, because it, is, it starts to get uh, burned. You find it really quickly. And if you find that, stop the paella. Stop the paella because this flavor is going to give to all the paella in two minutes. All your work, it goes. And the crust is called socarat. 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 Yes. We are going to have it here. The borders. We are gonna at the end of the put a little more at the last minute with a lot of fire to caramelize. Yes. Yes. And now we need ten more minutes. Ah, it's been sixteen minutes. Sixteen minutes. And now ten more minutes. We said the fire must rest. Only with the heat. Only with the heat. The rice is gonna be done. I think it's as close as the, 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 the grease pickup. Yes, yes, yes. That is with this 10 minutes? Uh, Only with this heat? Dog and. Uh, <laughs> My man. <laughs> <laughs> and then we met after several years. <laughs> 